are Stampas Beach State Park. So we made it. And I'm just gonna show you a little bit around. Uh, there is a fee to uh, park vehicle here, which is about $3. And I wanna show you what, if you come here, or if you're planning to come here, what you get for $3. Um, of course, uh, there's a big park. You can just come here uh, on foot and explore. I'm not gonna really explore the main portion of the park because I'm here for kayaking and we're gonna get on the other side. But uh, as you can see, there's a lot of parking spot. Now, this park particularly is hard to predict because uh, in season and off season, sometimes it get really booked and uh, many occasions, even myself, I would come and I would have to turn around and leave because there is no parking spot. Uh, so there is a beautiful beach here. Uh, so some people just come here and enjoy the beach. Just gonna show you a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of a natural Florida environment. Um, the Sarasota is that way, and or Charlotte is that way, or Naples. What I decided to do because weather is not cooperating and we're getting a uh, light rain so I decide not to use any oil basically I'm boil my hot dogs which is okay this is this particular um, broth or broths uh, it's uh, turkey made out of 100% turkey meat and they should be able uh, to cook fairly quick uh, and let's see that they look pretty good um, and I already made a video yesterday. I made a um, peach habanero garnish for hot dogs. So it's got a little bit of barbecue and smoke uh, hint into it. So it should uh, substitute for my hot dogs not being grilled. So it looks pretty good. It's boiling and let me see. Yep. So what I'm going to have or, or what I have here is um, this is a peach or uh, canned peach. Uh, I don't need much because I'm probably gonna make a few hot dogs and there should be plenty for garnish. And uh, the garnish itself, I would call it peach habanero uh, garnish for hot dogs. Now, the ingredients, as I said, are very simple. Uh, just a peach, canned peach, um, a little bit of a sweet onion, I got it right, already cut. 
Um, I'm going to mix that together because I prefer my onion to be marinated a little bit. And of course, a fresh habaneros. Yeah. Um, I like jalapenos too, but for this particular uh, taste, I think uh, peach will go better with habaneros and give this nice spice. And of course, because I'm not going to grill, I'm just going to fry my hot dogs, which is a bit different. Um, I want to have a little bit of uh, smoky taste to it. So this unique barbecue sauce I got uh, as a present, so I'm not really sure where they sell this, but it's called Wicked Dolphin. It was, uh, basically, it's um, original barbecue sauce with artesian rum. Um, now, this stuff is I tried straight, and it's very potent. Not as alcoholic. It's just um, the taste is very strong. And I don't think so anyone, or I particularly didn't like um, just use it straight. But I found it's really good for cooking, so... However, I don't even remember who gave me this as a gift. It's been probably last year, uh, possibly my sister did. And um, well, either way, I didn't get no instructions how to use it. Um, so let me show you. This is how much I'm going to use. And um, this stuff, as I said, is very thick. See, it won't even drop. But it gives me a um, good taste. Should be that nice a hint of the smoke flavor. So, let's get to it. All right, my hot dogs are done. And this is the garnish that I made yesterday. It's a peach habanero garnish. It's got a little bit of barbecue sauce in it, just not much. Just give me a nice smoky uh, hint and a little bit of onions. So, and this is the final product. And I'm gonna start eating and enjoy my breakfast. Oh, I just wanna show you how it looks. I already took a couple bites and this garnish is really uh, have a nice actually bland and the hot dog and bun goes well together and instead of using just a ketchup I use this garnish which is really good it's not too sweet it's not too spicy and uh, the ingredients just perfect so yep really good yep see very nice simple setup but yet very effective you won't go hungry and nothing can beat a hot meal Okay, once I got done cooking, and as I said before, it's a very simple setup, and uh, the beauty part of it is put everything back together. So uh, my fry pan is already cool, cool off, so all I have to do is just put it back in. Well, after I'm done cooking, I break everything down, and look at this, everything is fit in my little baggie. It's all my kitchen in there. So very easy very simple setup all i have to do is just put it back um into kayak and we're ready to go to other side of a uh, stump pass very nice very simple well before we leave this nice spot i want to show you a little bit of um, area around uh, because like i said this is a park and there's a big nice uh, hiking trail where you can if you come this way or come to this park you can 
just walk around and enjoy um, there is some area in this that's where the crabs live the little tiny crabs so people who love crabs can come and find a whole bunch of them and this is just a small trail but it leads into the main trail so I just want to show you a few things so this is the main trail now in this particular uh, area you might find or I sometimes run into uh, iguanas for example uh, they're becoming a bit of a problem here in Florida and I'm pretty sure in the near future is going to be a bigger problem but right now all I see is a lot of crabs and if you look there they are hiding in their tiny holes there's one that, oh, there you go just trying to hide for just uh, relax or um, maybe sit and watch the crabs coming or crossing through but I want to show you something here um, in Florida of course like any other place we have a lot of poison ivy and this particular area as you can see there is a lot of it this is a poison ivy right here and there's a whole bunch there so the problem is for some people who is very sensitive has to be very careful now we have in florida similar plant that look like um poison ivy the only difference is in how to ident identify the uh, poison ivy it always always have three leaves one two three the other plant would have four sometimes five so it's not poisonous if you can count how many leaves one two three that's poison ivy uh, and like I said, you, some people may just say, sit down here and get stung. Well, let's get to it. Now, as I said, there is some plants that are eatable. Now, this little tiny plant, and you can see this is the, um, the, the berry. Now, this is called, um, let me open this up. The name of this is, I I don't know, some people said it's a golden berries and some website says Indian berries. Either way, I think it's a golden berries, but they are eatable. They're not poisonous. Uh, it's a bit too early in this time of the year. There will be more of them in September and they definitely can grow larger. And I'm just going to walk this direction and just going to show you, look at this. Uh, there is a, they're still green ones, but look how big they are, nice. And sometimes I ran into a huge areas where I collect them and let me take a bite mm. this is how they look there's a lot of seeds uh, it's sour and sweet not too sour not too sweet just perfect and it's extremely juicy so islands like this or areas like this where they grow can offer a little bit of snack in this particular time of the year yep there is more of them here and this should be like a whole area where usually you can find them. And as you can see, there is a lot of them growing right here. They're still green. Unfortunately, it's a bit too early. But like I said, in the right time of the year, that's loaded. And they taste so good. I mean, I personally love them. And a little snack. Yeah, this one is already dry. But let me walk around, see if I can find the good ones. Yeah, they're still blossoming. That's beautiful. Look how beautiful as flowers there. And of course, we have this vines that blooming this year. 
or this time of year and they just nice this is amazing they grow in a sand and this sand can get pretty hot but this plant is well adapted for this particular sandy area and look as you can see they're everywhere all right i found some more here well this one has already been eaten because um, animals come here and they like to chew on them too um, there's more of them here and look at this big wow this is a huge area and probably within about a month or less i would probably say a couple of weeks there will be lots of them here um, yeah they're not ripe yet but as you can see there's a lot of them here and they're still all green now let, let me check this one. Oh yeah this one should be good yeah this one is definitely ready to be eat you can see nice yellow or golden color see if I can find some more and I know uh, I love them my wife loves them my kids love them I mean every time we come to the beach and when they were young I show them the, I show this plant to them there's another one that should be good to go yes oh yeah definitely and I remember they would run into uh, this bushy areas and look for the berries and when I find them oh they would get so excited and they would eat them I mean they're fun they're fun to pick and they're fun to eat and we're gonna kayak that direction we're gonna cross the channel and we're gonna see we're gonna stay on the other side of the island now this particular area is very good for shell or find you need shells oh, beautiful they are nice now, big beautiful shells uh, all kind of shells let me show you more look at that oh, yeah. that's a nice shell um, that's another good one too let me just walk around More shells and more shells.